I'm Martha Hunt and today I'm going to walk you guys through my day to night glam routine. First things first, pin back the hair. So I always start with skin, so I'm going to show you guys my go-to skincare routine. This cleanser I've been using forever. Luzerne, it's a favorite. Now I'm going to wash this off. All right, clean skin. What I like to do is add a serum onto my wet face to help lock in the moisture. Always do your neck as well. That's the one thing I wish I would have paid more attention to, <laughs> my neck. One thing about me, if you guys don't know, is that I have scoliosis. So I frequently experience back pain, like many of you. And I like to use a little CBD stick. And this one has eucalyptus in it. So it's like having a spa day while you're getting ready. And I like to put it on while my serum is absorbing. Throw a little bit on my back. And it smells divine. It kind of reminds me of Tiger Balm, but it just feels even more holistic. So now I'm going to do an eye serum. This is Clay de Peau. Having scoliosis and modeling has been a little bit of a challenge because so much of modeling requires walking the runway. And one of my biggest insecurities is actually that one of my legs is longer than the other. So my gait isn't exactly perfectly symmetrical. So that's one thing that I've had to deal with and kind of overcome those insecurities, but I think it's important that we open up these conversations and talk about the things that make us insecure because if you want to talk badly about my walk or my gait or whatever, you can't troll me about that. That's just who I am, so bye. Always moisturize. This is Rodial Dragon's Blood Sculpting Gel. I like to rub it in with my fingers to really warm up the product and go in it upward motion because gravity you know wants to bring things down but we want to bring it back up obviously i love to give myself a little face massage in the morning i think it's a really great way to kind of appreciate that moment for you i naturally have really dry skin so i have to moisturize constantly now my hands are really slippery gonna put the excess on my body. Eye patches. These are 111 skin. Black diamond eye mask and anything with diamond has my name written all over it. So I'm going to apply them now and just look like a football player. I do a mask at least once a week. It's so funny because I didn't used to actually think that like eye patches, eye serums, eye creams were a thing until I started getting fine lines around my eyes. And I was like, hold up, I really gotta take care of this situation. 30, yay. Now I'm gonna do a little lip scrub. Really sexy. And it tastes really good, there's sugar in it. Now I'm going to add some lip balm. This is Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. It's an OG cream. But I'm doing this now because I'm going to come back to the lips later. So we wanna keep them plumped up and hydrated. So it's been 10 minutes, gonna take these off and going on to makeup. First step foundation. One thing that I've learned from pretty much every makeup artist is that nobody's just one color. So I like to mix things up like a mad scientist or a little concoction. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Foundation here. Boop. And I like to do just a touch of Dr. Hauschka bronzing tint. That's the wrong way, it's that way. I've been using this forever. It just adds the perfect amount of warmth, especially because my face is usually much lighter than the rest of my body. So we are going to even things out. I'm just gonna get creative today and use this fluid sheer in my little mix. Just a little touch to add a little glow. I love the beauty blender because it makes you feel like your face is just airbrushed. So now I'm gonna do concealer. I'm using Clay de Peau. I do like using brushes, but I think that the warmth of your fingers helps the product sit more naturally into your skin. If you're going to do a lip, it is very useful to make a nice, clean, even color around your mouth. And I know I look crazy right now, but later this is gonna come in handy. I always get allergies and have itch, an itchy nose, so I'm just gonna 
use my concealer to really cover this nose up. So now I'm going to do brows, which are a very key step in my everyday day to night makeup look. I like to use two different colors. This is Anastasia Brow Pencil in Taupe, and this is actually Revlon in Blonde. One trick I've learned through Yorgi Sandow, shout out Yorgi, is to brush them down and that looks really weird. But then I like to draw on top of them. And everyone's brow shape is different, so some people may want to, you know, fill it in underneath, but I like to go on top. And then I like to elongate it. Carolina Gonzalez taught me to kind of go in a shape where your lower lash line, or whatever you call that, would continue upward to meet your brow. Because if your brows are too short, it kind of like shortens your face, apparently. So now I'm gonna add a bit of the Revlon Blonde. So I'm gonna start brushing these up so you can tell what's going on in here. I like to fill it in. See the difference? All right, she's, she's coming alive. So now I'm gonna do the other side. I learned these things because I have to deal with my eyebrows being dyed or bleached a lot for shoots. So maybe that's why I'm crazy about brows. Hmm. This one's always better, but it's just a better brow. All right, so brows are done, finally. That's a long one for me. Now we're moving on to eyes. I'm using the Tarte palette, which is a great neutral, taupey, warm, natural sort of Palette. I'm going to use a wrapper brush. This is a great Japanese company that does really nice fluffy brushes. And I'm going to mix Jet Setter and Smarty Pants. As far as models go, Jasmine Tooks probably is the most knowledgeable about makeup, but I will say Candace is also very talented at doing her own makeup. And when we went to Burning Man, we would do each other's makeup, which was so much fun. Our RV was just covered and glitter and like neon eyeliners. It felt very euphoria, pre-euphoria. So my thing is my eyes are close to my eyebrows. I don't like the eyeshadow to go too high. A lot of makeup artists like to put it way up there, but I think it closes this area too much. And I also try to go in a feline shape. That's my intention, a little subtle hint. So I'm gonna do like a little subtle sheen over it. Adds just a hint of shimmer. Sparkly. It's subtle. All right, so now I'm going to curl the lashes. This step I have definitely learned through work. And what's helpful is to get a lash curler that's similar to your eye shape. And that has taken me a while to figure out because I do have kind of unusually wide eyes. And this Shiseido one really gets in there for me and helps with the corners. I've never had eyelash extensions, but I did have them dyed once, which was really cool. Because then I didn't have to put on mascara. I should do that again. I really wanna do an eyelash perm, so they just stay curled. I switch hands when I curl my lashes. It seems most people use the same hand. So comment below if you switch hands when you do your lashes. All right, mascara. And you have to pull it up, which looks really psychotic. It really does feel like I'm in clockwork orange when I do this. But that really helps you get to the root of the lash line. And makeup artists say that really matters, so I trust them. Okay, so now I'm going to use a clean mascara wand to get out the clumps, which I find very helpful. So now I'm going to apply some blush. This is Clay de Peau. And I like to apply quite a bit in the beginning because I know it's going to absorb after a while. I'm crazy about blush. I like to apply it on the apple of my cheek and then blend it out towards my cheekbone. I feel like I have such a healthier glow already. And then some on the nose to keep it natural. Keep it all like a complimentary palette, as you will. Ooh, that blush is popping. So, highlighter, I'm using Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. I love the gold in this, it's so gold and glittery. And kind of dab right on the cheekbone. 
I like to pop a little bit on my brow bone. I like to put it on the inner corners of the eyes to help make the eyes pop even more. Ooh. I love highlighter, never enough highlighter. I always like to put a little bit on the nose, subtly. All right, so this is a Rodin Lip to Cheek Oil. And if you just wanna get really crazy, keep on highlighting. You can just dab it onto your cheekbone. And it's an oil, so it's also hydrating for your skin, which I like, obviously. I feel like it kind of helps set everything in place. Glossy. So now I'm using Butter Bronzer, which is a makeup artist's favorite. And another helpful trick I've learned from makeup artists is to use bronzer kind of all over the face to help warm up the face. So I like to use a big brush so it's not like too concentrated. Kind of just do it where the sun would naturally hit you. This is my everyday look, this is it. This is me, this is Martha. This is how I would do my makeup, going to get a coffee or walk my dog. But now I'm going to transition into night and show you my go-to little night trick. And it starts with a lip liner, which is by Pat McGrath. I'm using a liner because the lipstick that I'm using, <laughs> as you can tell in the cap, <laughs> I've squished it, so. <laughs> When I apply just the lipstick, it gets kind of everywhere. So I need a liner to keep everything where it's meant to be. And I like to overdraw my top lip. See, this is where that concealer came in handy. And when doing lip liner, it's helpful to smile, to really stretch out your lips. I love this color so much and how sweet it even has my name on it. Thank you, Claire DeVoe. The color is... Decadent. Ooh. Well, it's decadent, let me tell you. This is a great texture as well because it's not your typical lipstick. It feels like it's hydrating your lips as well, which I really appreciate. It doesn't feel like a cakey, like grandma lipstick. The challenge is always to get that perfect, like, line. See, it's such a bold pop of color. All right, so now I'm just gonna blot it. All right, so now I'm ready for the night. Now I'm gonna hit the town. It's like I'm probably just gonna go watch The Bachelor. No, what do you think? How'd I do? But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.